FAP1, it, it's a unique asset that we have. It will be built fully focused on the integration of 2D materials, mainly on graphene, with a fab that is full focused on, on reproducibility, on, on, on building up learning cycles very fast, um, is, is something unique in the world. I'm Cédric Herbert, I'm a, I'm a physicist by education did my PhD at IMEC and I stayed 23 years at IMEC bringing novel technology from lab to fab. So always like trying to figure out what's uh, working in the lab and then, and then bringing that to a fab environment. We're in the design phase. So what is done is all the, the supplies and the utilities have been defined. So this allows us to go in a fab core design which is called so. So we have a kind of pre-design where we define all these utilities, the needs, uh, the, the sizes of, uh, of the utilities. And then now uh, we go in a core design, which means that we are designing everything around the tools. And this is happening at this moment in time. Of course, um, building such a fab, it's, it's critical to have a staffed team. The organizational structure has, has been set up. So there is a a fab director, engineering managers for the different areas. Areas are a, a bundle of processes that are similar, that are grouped together. And so now these area managers have all been defined. And, and what happens is that these area managers are hiring um, uh, processing engineers, um, um, lab support engineers and, and hardware engineers. Uh, to, to uh, group these areas and then um, when the fab is built and the tools are coming in, these people will um, uh, connect the tools, uh, will start up the tools and will uh, develop the first processes that are required for the integration. Graphene offers two big advantages. It has a, a promise of a better performance um, because there is no fundamental limitation in, in, um, in speed and then there is a, a better integratability. And that integratability means that, that um, the cost of ownership, the way to integrate the yield will be higher or expected to be higher. And this is a big advantage uh, compared to silicon photonics. And we can go for a much more intimate and, and cheaper uh, integration with similar or better performance compared to silicon photonics. Graphene can be integrated at back end of line compatible temperatures. So, so this means that we can bring in the photonics and, and, uh, and the electronics on one chip. And this is quite unique. I think the biggest change that we can bring is that people start to rethink their system architecture. We always benefit from having more complexity, more calculation power. And this, this is coming to scaling. So it's very expensive and, and it still continues, but it's coming to an end. So how do you bring additional complexity? By changing the architecture, by trying to expand the architecture. Um, and this means that, that you need to have your communication going as fast as on a chip, but outside the boundary of the chip. This happens to photonics. So the deeper you can integrate the photonics, the larger you can make systems and fabrics. And, and, and this is a way that, that, that we see that we can rethink and making larger computing systems. There are other venues where we, we believe that once we have a stable product, um, they will come is, is the, the optical compute, for example, or hybrid computing, where you would already, while sending out data, compiling and, and, and already like working with the data and, and performing compute on the data before you bring it in, uh, into the CMOS where, where uh, further calculation is done. Bringing optics and, and photonics together is definitely um, a way to do where you can always try to benefit from the best of the, of the two worlds. My favorite part is to build such a fab coming from just an idea, a cross-section of how something should look like. And that based on that, you made that whole analysis of all the tools that are required. It's the journey, actually. It's, it's an amazing journey to be in. It's, it's uh, quite incredible. I don't think there is a lot of startups that can do that. This is really amazing and feels crazy for me.
So I'm, I'm really privileged to be here and, and lucky. First of all, people need to be open. We are still a startup, so people need to be open to do a part of the hookup, uh, qualification tests, uh, development of stable processes, but also R&D. So, so people need to be uh, open to not only focus on one thing, but, but open to, um, uh, to do different kind of um, uh, parts of the job. Let's say it's, it's, it's a complicated situation because uh, we are competing with organizations where you have thousands of people who are doing the same thing. And the advantage here is it's the agility. You can contribute yourself to a big part. And, and so, so people who like to have an impact and contribute uh, to a larger portfolio of, of activities compared to what they can, could do in a big con, um, uh, consortium um, are people that we are looking for. So it's, it's, it's mainly about making impact. And I think this is what you can do in, 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 in our organization. Dream big. 